Hello guys, Dimahanda Zero here, and today I am going to explain how to install or create your very own Feed the Beast mod pack. And this is for if you've created your own mod pack before, or you want to create a group of mods for you and your friends to play, and you're not sure how to do it. Now one way to do that is to manually install all the mods uh, by yourself, and then organise them into one folder, however this can take quite a while to do and it's annoying looking up and searching for each mod's web page. And this is where Feed the Beast mod packs come in. Feed the Beast mod packs are mod packs designed by the Feed the Beast team, and they centre around one idea, usually a hardcore world or a hardcore quest. And with this tool, you can create your own mod pack. Whether it is a hardcore mod pack, a quest mod, or just a group of mods you enjoy playing with. And for this, you're going to use an application called Curse Voice Beta, and this is a online chat program uh, designed by Curse, it's currently in beta, hence the name, and it has an inbuilt mod creator. So if you've never used Curse before, they are a, oops, and I have spelt it wrong, let's bring up their webpage, they are, there you go, online game portal and network of gaming websites, and they currently operate the Minecraft forums, the Minecraft Wikipedia, and the Minecraft mod list. And they have an inbuilt mod creator. So what you're going to look for is this web page here, Curse Voice, or you can doodle Curse Voice Beta, and you're looking for this one here. And this is the application we're looking for. So we're going to go to download and it is available on all platforms, I believe, and we're on a PC, so we're going to use the PC version, and you're going to click this Download Now button. So it's going to ask you to save or run. We are going to save. And it will slowly download itself. And I will explain, this is a proper uh, voice chat program, so you can use this to chat with friends, or to set up an online voice chat for other games as well, not just Minecraft. And it's a nice tool to have. So, it is also available on iPhone and Android. That obviously won't have the uh, Feed the Beast launcher in it. So we're going to wait for this to download. There we go. Taking its time. We're going to open folder. Here it is and you're going to double click on that and as you can see I've already got this installed but it will give you the installation process etc but we've already got it installed so we don't need to worry about that once you do have it installed you want to go to your Windows tab or your Mac or whatever you're using and type in Curse and this is the application here it's called Curse, it should appear on your desktop and when you open it up this little window will begin to open and because it's a voice chat program, this will stay on as long as you have the program turned on. If you try and click the X, it's not going to go away, it's just going to minimise. And if you want to shut the program down, you right click, exit curse. But we don't want to do that. So you want to make sure you have a curse account. Now you can do this on the curse forums, or on the Minecraft forums. And we've already got one here. We are online, I haven't set up my pitch yet. but you want to go to this tab here, Minecraft. Now this may or may not show up, you probably want to create a Minecraft forum account for it to show up, otherwise it's not going to appear, and you're going to click on that. Then it's going to ask you to install Minecraft and enter your Mojang password. Once you do that, you'll get this screen here. And this is where you can create your mod packs. So there are three options, we can browse other players' mod packs, we can browse Feed the Beast mod packs, or can, we can create a custom profile. And this is what we're going to select here. So we're going to give it, you can also import if you want to do that, but we're going to give it a name, let's call it our own mod pack. Very simple. You can select your version, it has every version available. Uh, 7.10 obviously has the most mods, so this is generally the one you would choose. So for example sake, uh, one more sec. For example sake, I'm going to do 7.10. And 
And then finally we have the Forge version. And it will automatically select the latest, which is what you want. So we're going to click OK. Then it's going to appear here with its little picture and the name here. So we want to click on that view profile. Now you'll see there are three options. Installed mobs, resource packs and maps. So we'll start with mods. This is where you get the mods for your mod pack and it will actually search the Curse's entire mod database. Every single mod on Curse will show up here. As you can see, pretty much the list is huge. And we have categories here, everything from world generation to add-ons. And then we can sort by featured, popularity, updates, etc. So let's just create a basic mob. Uh, Whaler, we'll have that, that's always good. Tinkerer's Construct, I enjoy that. And let's put on, what else? Energy, what do they have in energy? Um, Dalek mod, let's put that on. Oh, no, it's disappeared. Okay, that's a glitch, that shouldn't happen. Is it gonna show us? Nope, I think it's glitching out. Oh, well, this is still in beta, obviously. Uh, let's go into redstone. More armor. Let's see. Buildcraft. Oh, they have buildcraft. Compact. Generators. Might as well get that. Okay. And the nice thing about this is if your mod requires a core, it will automatically install that core. So, for example, the COFH core, any mods using that, it will automatically install that for you which makes it a lot easier than tracking down the individual mods. Alright, that's got a few, so let's go on to maps. And these are pre-made maps. Now, most of these will require you to install certain mods. Let's look at Ajarian Skies. It will tell you it requires the mod pack. So if you install this, it will install all the mods needed for that mod pack. So we don't want that, because we've already got our own mods. So let's go back into maps. What else do we have? That, actually, let's have a look at that. There you go. This is a build map. So, let's install that. So that will download the map for us and set that as the default world. Now, while that's downloading, let's go into resource packs. And this, again, will have all the resource packs listed on the Curse database. So, what do we have? Well, yeah, there's a whole heap here. And again, you can categorize them. Uh, let's go for a mod supported. We've got mods. What do we have? That one looks nice. So let's install that. And it will install. There we go. It says installed. And then we can go back. Now we can edit this. You'll see our mods have shown up now. That's nice. And we can go get more content. And it will take us back to this page and if we go back we'll also see this option here open folder this will take you to the folder where the mods are located so if there are mods that aren't on the curse database you can install them uh, profile options these are the names and etc let's call it new mod pack so you can easily change it use system settings that will set to the default RAM and resolution etc for your system. Forge version, you want to keep that the same. Release type, we're going to keep that on beta and then going to press OK. We can duplicate profile, we can export profile and that will give you a folder that you can give to other players. So we're going to take all of that, say OK and we want to put it, let's say, in our downloads folder and that will give you a zip folder. And again, we can delete. So, we want to go back. We can play. Or flip the play button there. It will open up the Minecraft window. We'll see that the profile has already been selected. We're going to click play. And it will begin to load up all the mods. So, that's going to take a little while. Yep, here we go. Um... So it will go through the Mojang loading, 
forge loading as well. That's going to take a little while. So it's the first time we've loaded it. And here you go. Your full stream will come up. We can do a single player. There's the map that we downloaded. We can play selected. And it will automatically load us in. Here we go. I don't think... No, I think we've generated in the one right... Oh, no. Here we go. What's this? I have no idea what this is. No, absolutely no idea what this is. But that doesn't matter, because the mod works. You can see all our mods are here. And you will have to do this, because it doesn't do that by default. You want to go into Options, and go into Resource Pack, and activate the resource pack. And that's going to take a little while to load. There we go. And that is it. We have our own mod pack here. Whoops. And I've, I've fallen in and broken all the redstone. Okay. But that's it. That's all there is to the curse voice. We're going to save and quit. Get rid of this. And that's it, your mod pack is here. You can continually add mods and saves. Uh, you can do fairly big mods, you can add hardcore mods, you can add question mods. This is my one, got 43 mods. You can add pretty much unlimited resources, maps, resource packs. And it's a really simple tool to use. You can also deactivate mods if there is a version with the forge, uh, like Ender IO. I've got that deactivated for some reason, can't remember. And that's all you need to know. It's very simple. It will work on both Mac and PC, I believe. And that's all there is. It will set everything up for you. So I hope you enjoyed this. Check out some of my other Minecraft videos. Please subscribe and stay tuned.